Hi, I'm Dr. David Clark. I'm talking to you from the Chicago Midwinter Meeting, and I'm here at the Abtura Spartan booth. I wanted to talk about a couple of things that I really enjoy. I've been working with Abtura Spartan with ultrasonics and their backfill unit for about a decade. So I wanted to really show just a couple of things that I enjoy in my office and that I've written some articles about as far as advancing the art of microendodontics. Today, the name of the game in restorative dentistry and in endodontics is minimally invasive. So for a while in restorative dentistry, we made great big mutilations of teeth to do crowns and, and we followed that with endodontics. We would flare these teeth wide open and what we found over time was when we mutilate the tooth, bad things happen and when we overshape endodontic access and endodontic root shaping, over time the root can break. So we're back to smaller, more delicate shapes. I wanna talk about a couple of things that I like to work with to create the same minimally invasive attitude about endodontics that is now popular and really gaining momentum in restorative dentistry. So let's take a look first at the ultrasonic unit. A lot of you aren't using microscopes, but you are using advanced magnification. So I wanna welcome you to think about using a microscope. And one of the first things that I noticed with loops with a microscope was the dramatic difference between using an ultrasonic and using a handpiece once we could actually see inside the tooth. So instead of sort of blindly poking in the tooth, we want to look inside the tooth with advanced magnification and good lighting. And most of us today are using magnification and light. So let's do a contrast. I'll compare this. Now let's pretend that this is the orifice of the tooth. So when you're working with a traditional handpiece and you're using round burrs or you're using whatever instrument you are in a handpiece, as the handpiece comes in, it begins to block your vision. And from this point on, you're going blind. And we have to do a certain amount of that in endodontics, but we'd like to do as much visually as we can. Now let me contrast that with the ultrasonic. When you bring the ultrasonic, the motor is off to the side. So when the ultrasonic comes in to the orifice, you'll notice that the head of the ultrasonic is so delicate you can see past it and into the system. So I wrote a couple articles about this beautiful marriage of magnification and ultrasonics, simply because the motor is out of the way. So the next thing I want to talk about is the backfill unit. One of the things I was real happy with was they designed a high flow gutta percha for the backfill and also a very small tip because I was not able to use the larger tip and the regular flow gutta percha in these new smaller endodontic shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little demonstration. What I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and backfill this system. Now typically what we like to do is take a master cone in, heat it and compact that and then we're going to leave about the bottom four millimeters in the canal. And so the nice thing about this backfill with the high flow gutta percha is I'm able to get in to a relatively small area. I think this is about a 30 file shape. And you're going to get a little extrusion here because I haven't got a good stop. But I want you to see how nicely this is able to obturate a very small space with this new high flow, lower temperature, and smaller tip to the backfill unit. So just a, I wanted to share just a couple of quick things that I really enjoy in my practice with ultrasonics as far as doing a biomimetic or a non-round shaping with ultrasonics where we go in and vibrate and, and shape the canal with direct vision versus the sort of blind approach that we've done in the past with hand pieces. Now, as far as some of the videos talking about that, you can visit the Aptura Spartan website. Dentistry Today has got a couple of these videos. And for more information, you can call 1-800-344-1321 for follow-up information as far as some of the specifics of the techniques. You can also visit my website at lifetimedentistry.net. It has several of the articles using uh, ultrasonics and a more minimally invasive and a biomimetic approach to endodontic access. So I hope you all enjoyed this little snippet and uh, we'll see you at the next meeting. Thanks.